Here with our Division One 300 hurdles champion, 300 hurdle, 300 meter hurdles champion, Caleb Robertson Upland, who runs a U.S. best 36:35. Congratulations! Obviously, a big performance for you here today. What was the key to getting that victory and getting that time? Obviously, a lifetime best for you. Um, well, I just have to focus on staying calm and working through my technique and not panicking because someone was next to me and just being able to do that. And, execute my race really help me today. Now you mentioned that somebody else next to you, uh, Ray Tay Rash of ML King, stride for stride coming into those last 100 meters there. Just take me through that. Obviously, you guys are right next to each other, so you can kind of feel him there. What were you telling yourself coming down those last 100 meters? Um, I was just telling myself to focus on my race and, and practice. Uh, uh, my teammate, the man, him, feel he's always right next to me in practice, so it was just like being in practice, and I'm, I'm used to that kind of atmosphere, and so that just helped me stay calm in that moment and execute my race. When you crossed the finish line and saw that time there and then realized that's a U.S. number one, obviously, when you start this, this is what you want to do. You want to be the best in the country. What kind of pride do you get from that performance, and what will you take with you next into the Masters meet? Um, well, just being able to run that and do that. Um, and today didn't even feel like it was my best day, so being able to do that today was just a great accomplishment. And I just know that I stayed. There's more things to come. Now, obviously, earlier today, Division I, 100-meter champion, best time of the day, 10.59. Take us through that particular race. What worked out there for you? Looked like you got out pretty well and were able to kind of power through that last 50 meters there. Take us through that race, too. Well, uh, all through our practice, my coach has been helping me work on keeping my dry phase. And he told me that if I keep my dry phase, I'll be able to uh, run faster and uh, hold, my, hold the lead and stuff. And so I just did that and made sure I held my, hold, hold my, uh, my dry phase. That just really helped me today. Now, the 300-meter hurdle is obviously the event that you're known for, defending California State Champion there. But you've made a name for yourself this year in the 100 meters, and it's definitely one where you enter it as one of the best in the state. Take me through the pride you get from accomplishment like today in that particular event. Uh, well, at the beginning of the season, honestly, I didn't want to run the 100. But as I started working on it more and developing and getting better, it just uh, winning is always something exciting. And so it just, I just learned to love it. And then finally for you, again, one more step next week, the Masters meet, and then it's obviously where everybody wants to go for you going back there, trying to defend your state championship in the 300 hurdles. Just take me through the mindset as you get ready for this next challenge, knowing that one more nice performance gets you back to where you want to be. Uh, well, my coaches have been saying that this is the hardest meet to go through and that next week should be good and easy because you just have to make the time. And so uh, this week, I've been, I just tried not to stress on it. And so I'll, I'll do the next week. I'll do next week the same and try to make it to state. Well, looking to get back. Caleb Robertson again, national leading time in the 300 meter hurdles, 36 35. Also, the Division I champion, 100 meter hurdles, 10 59 here today. Congratulations. Kate. Thank you.